Hey guys, today we are going to try to save this super messed up and sick, dead looking plant. And this is my poor lithops plant, which is actually a type of succulent known as a rock plant or a plant that looks like a rock. And as you can tell, it looks like it is about to burst and it looks quite bad to be fully honest if you've been following me on my shorts feed you might know that i actually left it outside in the rain unintentionally and well the next morning i woke up and came out and guess what i saw this plant like this really 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 bad so a little bit of a backstory of why i had this plant outside this plant required more than six seven hours of direct sun and outside in the balcony it had lots of light so i decided to take it out but anyway with that aside, I essentially just left it outside and forgot about it in the rain. And guess what? I came back to it the next day and it looks like this. And as you can see, it has two pieces or leaves or whatever you want to call this. And you can tell that there are certain parts that look like it's made out of mush or water, while other parts still look kind of firm but believe it or not it is actually really really squishy and i can literally break the whole thing if i'm not being gentle enough so i'm gonna just pull the two parts out of the base because the base is already gone at this point and actually someone commented on my shorts post that maybe i should try to split the leaf and see if i can save it as a propagation never tried it before and don't really have much experience with lithops but we're gonna try it anyway because might as well so i'm going to take away this pot or and so well because we don't really need it at this point and i'm gonna just remove the base because look at the base it's it's just completely rotted at this point so anyway we have two pieces now with us and they look kind of cute not gonna lie i might actually expand my lithops collection because i do really enjoy them so now that we have our two pieces together we can start our procedure or mini project for the day so I'm going to go ahead and just take away everything. And as a side note, I also had two containers for this plant because its initial decorative container was pink, but then I needed a ceramic or heavier one to make sure it doesn't get blown away outside by the wind. So anyway, I'm going to use a small tissue here since I'm doing this against the window ledge because, you know, why not? And we're going to need some cinnamon and I'll explain why we need or we're going to use cinnamon later on in this video and a pair of scissors or cutting utensil and then of course rubbing alcohol to disinfect the actual utensil make sure that we're not going to spread any bacteria or germs while opening the plant's tissue or plant material because you don't want to get the plant more infected when it's already looking bad so i'm going to just Make sure that the rubbing alcohol reaches the actual blade, but you can also try to flame it, but you want to make sure that you are going to be careful with the flames because you might actually end up burning things and that's not a good idea. So if you're underage, just maybe skip over that one and just use rubbing alcohol instead. So for the first one, you can see that there is a piece of bark attached to it. It's not actually rotted like that dark, but you can see that the bottom portion of the leaf is heavily damaged so we are going to just take our pair of scissors or cutting utensil and try to cut it and oh my gosh do you see how squishy it looks like the amount of water it's almost like filled with water like aloe vera like if you've seen aloe vera gel before you know what i mean it's literally just filled with water at this point it's too much water because this is a succulent it grows in the desert so it does not need this much water actually and the other piece looks pretty much the same and i'm gonna just chop the bottom half i was expecting more of a clean cut but guess what this plant was already mushy from top to bottom and it's too hard to make a clean cut so just try your best if i'm doing this wrong please do let me know in the comments because i don't really have much experience with lithops then i'm going to use cinnamon and the reason why i am using cinnamon is because cinnamon has antibacterial properties or it works as something that's going to bar barricade things from entering the plant and it works as a good sealant along with wax from candles and hot glue but i personally don't like to use hot glue because just it's a waste of time i find it much easier and more efficient to use cinnamon since it's already in the kitchen anyway might as well just go grab it then i'm going to cover the open wound which is the area that we cut open with cinnamon and cinnamon will eventually dry and make a crust which is going to 
make, again, like a barrier or a wall, which is not going to allow any moisture or anything through that, for that matter. So I'm going to just keep doing that until there are no open spaces left. If there is like a hole or like a little dent in your cutting, just fill it up with a little bit of cinnamon. And as you can see, my fingers are covered with cinnamon now. Then you're going to take a tray and put dry potting mix in just a thin layer, not too much. And this will probably help it root if it's going to at all. And yep, I just poured soil everywhere. You saw that. And now you can see there is a thin layer of soil. It's not too heavily compacted. I just place it in lightly. And then I'm going to take my lithops pieces, cuttings, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Do lithops necessarily have leaves? I don't know. They don't look like leaves to me. But anyway, then I'm going to just place it right on top. I'm not going to poke anything. And since they are overwatered in this case, or just they have too much water, I'm going to just not mist it. I'm going to just leave it like that for quite a while and see what they do. Fingers crossed that they will do okay. And hopefully they might actually root out and grow some leaves. Who knows? We will see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative or entertaining. Again, I don't know much about lithops, so leave more information down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!